There we go, there's a catfish. Be fishing for channel cats today. Right now I'm working a three-way slip sinker rig with a seven-aught circle hook. It's a kind of a sporting medium heavy moderate action rod I think. 20 pound test. Fishing cut bait. He got caught up there, shoot, on a rock. Either he did or the weight did. Let's see if we can pull him out here. I think I got him, there we go, sweet. We can beach them here. I don't want to hork them too hard. A lot of times with these circle hooks, I'll just skin lip, lip them right in the corner of the mouth. If I put too much pressure on them, I'll rip their skin. They have pretty tough skin, but if you just get just a tiny bit of that skin, you can tear that circle hook out. He's really dogging it. That's for sure. Yeah, this is going to take more than one run. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get him on this run. You usually get a lot of attitude when you start pulling them near shore. He's okay sized. Oh yeah, he didn't like that. <laughs> he knows where he's going. A decent catfish right off the bat. Sweet. He's bleeding out of his cheek there a little bit from where the circle hook got him, but should be okay. It's a solid first fish. Right on 30 inches. Skinny river channel cat. About nine and a half pounds. Quality channel cat. Go. There's another one. These hits are so fast. Already lost a couple fish because they, uh, I think because I tied my slip sinker in a way that isn't good for how shallow this is right now. Water's really low. And I tied my, uh, my drop leader to my weight to be about the same length as the hook. And I think it kept getting caught in all these giant boulder cracks because the water's so shallow and the catfish is. I can't really raise them up in the water column as high. I've only been here a few minutes, so <laughs> this, is, this is great action. Yeah, I retied I re the leader so the, the drop leader is really short, so now that I'm raising them up in the water column, that weight won't be clipping along the rocks anymore. Should be better off now. I got this guy in a piece of cut bait too. I got a whole bunch of other baits I brought with me. I might use them eventually. This guy seems smaller. But, who knows? Sometimes, sometimes it's hard to tell. Especially when they feel big, you can't tell if they're really big or not. Sometimes their attitude is just, you know, this guy feels small, but their attitude on the, on the small one sometimes makes them feel like a big one. They behave differently a little bit. They really do dog it though. Just staying right tight to the bottom there. Yeah, this is working much better. I'm glad I switched my rig. That was kind of annoying. I 
Man, this is great. They are stacked. I love it. Boom. <laughs> really feisty. Doing a lot of circles today. A lot of attitude. Come on over here, baby. It's not as small as he felt. Man, not giving up. Yeah, he's a decent one. Pretty thick, not very long, but real like thick across the back sideways. It's actually a lot better than I thought. He's a big one by New York Master Angler standards. Not very fat, but just really thick. He's over 10 pounds and uh, 29 and three quarters. You know, this one and the last one are a little bit above average for around here, I'd say, by length. Quality, thick, late summer fish. Nice, solid channel cap. Action's just ridiculous. They're so stacked in here right now. <laughs> They're hitting like immediately every time. It's just beautiful. This is what catfishing is all about right here. Such hot action. I don't know how many are stacked in here, but they're hitting really fast. Plan on finding out though. I'm trying my best to. This spot peters out. Might hit some other spots today, or I might go musky fishing, I don't know. See what I feel like, how many I get here. It's going great so far though. Nice quality fish too. Take 30 inches all day long. Be happy to. Love to get one three feet or better some point this year, but just so rare after they, it's like they're, it's like, you know, I, I get hundreds or 26 to 30 inches, but after 30, it just gets exponentially rare. Low 30s are rare, mid upper 30s are very rare. Seems like one in a thousand. Especially upper 30s. Another catfish. It's okay sized. Not as big as the last one, but still a decent one, I guess. Oh, actually, he's a little bigger than I thought, too. They keep looking smaller to me out in the water. These are such thick catfish. They're getting half an inch shorter each time and half a pound heavier. Real thick, a little bit fatter. Beautiful fish for the river. 11 pounds or a smidge over and 29 and a half inches. Great, another quality Master Angler Channel Cat. There's another one. Right on that current break there. Now today, it seemed a little bit more spread out, but often when I fish pools like this, I'll try and target the current break especially. For whatever reason, whether it's because the, uh, the scent carries downstream faster, or if it's because the catfish are actually stacked up on the current break, I seem to get a lot faster hits when I, when I uh, mostly fish on it. And they're really squirrely today. They're doing all sorts of loops and circles and backflips and stuff. Oh, man. That was the part where I got not horse them. 
a lot of times when they get close like this, if you just try and horse them in, they'll the 180. You really put a lot of stress on your line if you was in light line like I am. When they turn around, when they 180 and they swish their tail, they can snap you a lot, relatively easy. And this is like one of those skinny gray ones. This is what I'm used to. That's a river cat right there. <laughs> That's like a typical one. Super skinny. This one's actually longer than I thought too. He's right on 30 inches again, above average length for around here, so that's nice, but he's super skinny, so he's only eight and a half pounds. You know, the weight on these guys fluctuates a lot. There he goes. Sweet. Such good action. Such nice quality fish too today. Every one of these fish so far has been above average in length and in weight. Some some days I get like eight pound average weights, but so that last one wasn't exactly above average by weight, but they've all been above at least a little bit above average in length. You know, usually the best days the average is like 28 for me. So Happy to get all these nice fish. Ooh, drag's getting a little sticky. It got wet. So I get for using a cheap spinning reel. <laughs> oh man, I love catfish. Such a great fish. Got some attitude. Beach them here. Awesome. This one's 28 and a half inches. Didn't bother weighing them. This guy's tugging pretty good. Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> man I love this, so much fun, hot catfish action. Oh man, <laughs> getting a workout. This is like the reason why my forearms are the size of my biceps. <laughs> all I do is fight fish like this all the time. And jig, gives me a lot of wrist strength. Another decent one. Sweet. Nice quality channel cats. So many quality beauties today. This one's almost 31 inches. About a quarter under. And 9.9 .9 pounds. Not as thick or as fat as the other ones, but nice long channel cat. Above average. There we go. This guy came off the current break. Another real fast hit. Gonna run out of bait before I run out of fish. <laughs> it's just a little too good. Hate to say that. There we go. Getting them in here. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a this is a real small guy. Yeah, this guy's tiny. Looks like. This guy's about 22 inches. Oh man, unreal. Had another cat on before I could even release this one. I just casted it back out quick, measured that fish, and then let him go, and this pole is bending over when I went back to it. How cool is that? Super hot, concentrated fish action. Oh man, on the same piece of bait too. <laughs> They're just falling on the hook. Yeah, this is wonderful. Ooh baby, got an attitude. Stay out of those rocks there. I don't like it when they go near the rocks. I've lost a lot of nice fish due to boulders. It's like when they, they stay down at the bottom, not necessarily catfish, I haven't lost a lot of catfish that way, but a lot of like walleye and pike and musky and junk, like heavy ones, you know, 10 pounds plus walleye and musky and pike that were certainly big. Like just, you lose them because they'll, they'll hunker down near these boulders and the line, if you're using like six pound tests like I jig with, It'll, if it just touches the boulder, the edge of it, under that kind of tension, there's a good chance it'll cut. I lost a lot of fish that way. <laughs> oh, man. Come on in. I haven't gotten a look at him yet. It's fighting pretty good. So sure how big he is. Feels bigger than the last one, I can tell you that much. <laughs> it's really hard to tell exactly how big they are before you see them. Like even when I'm seeing them come into shore here, I'm still under guessing them today. It's just hard to tell by how they how they fight. You can get like a real rough estimate, but their attitude plays a big factor. I was trying to say before. Okay sized. It's not bad. Another decent one. Another nice one. Right on 29 inches. And just a little bit over 9 pounds, like 9.1 or 9.2. Swapped out for some rotten chicken liver. Still working a three-way slip sinker rig. This time with a treble hook though to gob the chicken liver on. Probably gonna get a smaller average. Almost guaranteed I'm gonna get a smaller average when I was using the cut bait a few minutes ago. I might switch back to the cut bait in a few minutes, I don't know, but I wanted to try this out for a little while. Keep the party going with some numbers of small ones. Might pick up a decent one though, you never know. Unlikely, but pick up a true big one on it, but it could happen. He was coming in really fast at first, now he's got a bit of an attitude. <laughs> Weird. Got him like along the current break as well. I'm pretty close to it. This place is so stacked with catfish right now, it's ridiculous. Out of control. Out of control. Oh. <laughs> Chunky short guy. This one's about 25 and a half. There's another one. Fish number two off the chicken liver. Oh man. A little bit tiring. 
Ooh, baby. Fast head shakes, weird. Be a spunky little guy. Got a lot of attitude. Seems like they keep fighting harder and harder as the year goes on. Like I remember them fighting like this in the spring, doing all these like somersaults and stuff. A little bit, but not as much. He's not tiny, that's for sure. Decent for chicken lever. All right. <laughs> Coming in. This one's 27. Didn't bother weighing them. There you go. Starting to slow down a little bit. I might be thinning them out. This is another one off the chicken liver. Oh man, I'm starting to get tired too. Not so much from fighting the fish, just from hiking around. It's starting to get a little slower, so I'm walking. Walk around, but you have to walk really carefully here because it's so slippery. Whew. Man. <laughs> They're vicious today. They're just all over the place. So many head shakes. Another skinny river cat. This one's a skinny 28. Didn't weigh him. 